So in order to start programming, you're going to want a text editor designed very specifically for programming. And we're going to be showing you how to install Sublime Text. Now, Sublime Text is one of many programming text editors. And the reason why you want a programming text editor is for a couple of basic things. Um, one is that you get this nice syntax highlighting, so whatever programming language you're using, um, the editor knows and can sort of highlight things. Because other than that, if everything is just showing as one flat color, it's really hard um, to write programs, and having syntax highlighting actually helps you um, be consistent and catch bugs or typos and things like that, so it helps out a lot. Also here you can see it's demonstrating that you can get multiple cursors, so you get a lot of like really specific features that make it very easy to program. Um, that other text editors won't have. Another key feature is that you have a file pane, so if you open up a folder, you can see all the files and folders in there, and you can just quickly jump between these different files. You have tabs. So lots of advantages to having a text editor specifically designed for programming. So we're going to go ahead and download Sublime. So if you go to www.sublimetext.com in your browser, and you click on the download link, um, you'll choose uh, which version you need depending on your operating system. So right now we're going to demo how it is to install for a Mac. So you go ahead and click that link and you'll see that your browser starts downloading the file. Now you'll have to notice that this is a .dmg file which stands for disk image. Um, and what that means is that what you're downloading is not the actual program itself. You're downloading what is essentially like a USB disk or a CD disk that's going to mount onto your computer. So that can be a little confusing if you've never done this before. So all you have to do is click on the file itself, and it says it's opening up the DMG file. And when it does, it'll pop open this, um, what looks like a finder window. Um, what's super important to understand here is if I go ahead and close my browser, uh, what you've done is, what you've done is you've mounted a disk onto your desktop, just like if you plugged in a flash drive or anything else. So we're gonna ignore this for a second, but just keep in mind, this is what you want, but you need to put it into your Applications folder. So in order to actually install the app, you want to click this and drag it into your Applications folder. I already have mine installed. Um, the way you want to double check that is now it should be part of your application, so you should just be able to open it up and see it in your Applications, or just type in F4 and start typing in Sublime, and it should show up right away. And that is how I have it installed. Again, if you just double-click this file, It'll open up, but it's not properly installed because it's still inside of this disk image, which we're going to eventually delete. Um, so again, you want to make sure that the app is inside the Applications folder. Once it is, you can close it, and then you want to right-click and say Eject Sublime Text. You don't want this disk to stay mounted on your system. Okay, so now that that's ejected, you want to again double-check F4, Sublime, and that means it's still it's in the appropriate spot. So go ahead and go ahead and open it up. And at this point, you can start using your text editor, um, and we'll be getting into some of the basic features as well as some more advanced features in some following screencasts.